Dear students, welcome to today's discussion on steps of experimental research as well as its advantages and disadvantages as a research approach. Let us proceed with this definition given by William Best. He defined that experimental research is the description and analysis of what will be or what will occur under carefully controlled condition. As you know, experimentation is careful observation under controlled condition and as a systematic and scientific method of research. In doing so, the researcher has to undergo different steps. All these steps right from planning to execution and report writing can be categorized into three major stages. Planning of experiment, conducting experiment and analysis and reporting of experiments. Let us see those steps that are included in the planning phase. Identifying and defining the research problem is the first step. After deciding the topic of interest, the researcher tries to define the research problem and defining the research problem he problems helps the researcher to frame the objective of the study as well as to formulate the hypothesis. Next step is to review the related literature. Uh, which helps the researcher to know whether the selected topic is significant enough, whether the uh, topic is um, feasible for conducting experiment and also it helps in delimiting the scope of the problem to a needed area of inquiry. Next one is defining and delimiting the experimental factor. As you know, experimental research is that in which one single variable in terms of treatment variable or experimental variable is administered to the treatment group and its influence is observed on the dependent variable. Therefore, the investigator has to be clearly specific regarding the theoretical framework of the experimental factor or treatment variable. Next one is formulation of hypothesis and deducing consequences. <coughs> so hypothesis shows the direction of the research process. In experimental research, the research design is basically uh, basically based around these objectives, clearly stated objectives and tentative hypothesis. Next one is framing the experimental design in which the basic components of experimental research are focused upon. First one is controlling the experimental uh, extraneous variable or non-experimental variable. So experimental research are basically conducted by manipulating variable or the independent variable to observe the difference or effect on the dependent variable and which are statistically analyzed for deducing conclusion. For this, the experimenter has to define the strategies for controlling extraneous variables that has the capacity to influence the study outcome and therefore the researcher has to be clear beforehand about those strategies so that researcher can draw valid conclusion. This uh, controlling may be done by the researcher through matching, balancing or homogeneity etc. So next phase is the randomization, with the help of which the researcher select the samples giving equal opportunity to each sample to be selected to the group to be categorized in the experimental group and the control group to be treated with the experimental factor. Next is conducting the pilot study as well as to undergo replication means conducting sub experiments to decide the place of experiments, duration of experiments and to design the materials required for conducting the experiment. Next phase is the execution phase, the conducting experiments. So as per plan, control of the confounding and extraneous variables after controlling this, the researcher administer the experimental or treatment variable and at the same time, 
the experimenter has to carefully keep the record of observation. Along with this, measuring the experimental outcome, comparison of raw data related to the treatment group and the control group is important. And after analyzing compiling data, it should be compared or condensed to a usable form after classifying, analyzing, using statistical application and on the basis of which conclusions are drawn. The objective of experimental research is to observe the phenomena and deduce conclusion for generalization, generalization of the findings to wider context. So variables correlating does not mean causation to establish cause-effect relationship and check the influence of the confounding variables, experimenter has to use replication means conducting the experiment repeatedly. And in this phase, at this phase, the conclusion is deduced and in the last phase, report of the study is written covering all the required details. Let us see the important advantages of experimental research. Experimental research is considered as most useful method for establishing cause-effect relationship between factors. An accuracy of observation is possible as because the experimental environment is controlled from different extraneous variables. It allows the researcher uh, to be free oneself from external environment as well as free oneself from personal biasness. The disadvantages of experimental research is that in educational research controlling of extraneous variable is not easy one and all types of educational aspects cannot be studied through this method. Possibility of generating artificial result is there in experimental research and results or conclusions that are drawn may be applicable to one situation but uh, it always may not be uh, possible feasible to replicate to or sometimes it may be unethical to replicate those findings. So dear students, these are the uh, steps involved in conducting an experimental research and the advantages and disadvantages of experimental research. I hope from this discussion you will have an idea about the steps involved in conducting experimental research. So thank you.